Today we are doing perm rods, as you saw in the intro. So let me tell you a few things about these perm rods that I figured out as I just started doing my hair. Because this is the first time I've ever done them. I'm trying to at least look like my hair is a little bit cute. <laughs> Alright, so yes, this is the first time I've ever used these. Um, so it took some trial and error, but I like to do most of them, you know, alone, um, so I can like really work out, you know, everything in my brain so I can bring it to you guys so I can give you like really good tips and tricks, okay? So the first thing is the, this thing right here, this is a rubber band. It's a rubber band and it has a purpose. The purpose is it's supposed to hold your hair on this, um, rod <laughs> so if you when you after you wrap your hair with this if you put the if you put the rubber band on this side it's not going to hold your hair so if you've done this style before and you made the rubber band go at the top of here then you're not doing your hair any justice what i figured out is it has these grooves right here on both ends so you can use that to really secure the hair because if you're putting it in that groove this rubber band is more secure to the actual rod does that make sense all right so basically what I'm doing is I'm first putting water on my hair which I don't even you guys I don't know where my spray bottle is so I just have a little I have this little container of water sitting right here. <laughs> so I'm not drenching my hair. My hair is still stretched from my blowout, you guys. So I just put a little bit of water. And then I'm going in with my leave-in, which I'm using Entwine Couture's leave-in conditioner today. So again, this is the leave-in conditioner, making sure that you get it everywhere. And, um, you know, from doing the rest of my hair, you guys, I didn't have any heat damage, thank God. I was really worried. <laughs> it's like, no, I wasn't worried, but, you know, you always have that thought of possibly having heat damage. Even if you take all the precautions, you know. So that was the leave-in. Next, we're going to be using my favorite um, moisturizer, which is from Allocay Naturals. This is their Shea Yogurt Moisturizer. And really make sure I get my ends. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Now I'm gonna take a section I'm going to twist this right quick just so it's out of the way. And so it can continue to like absorb the moisture. Now I'm going to be using the Carol Starter Hair Milk Styling Foam. This stuff is amazing for hold. So this is a, a, a styling foam basically. Because I want to make sure that I do have some type of curl. And then when you get to the end, just keep going around. The hair should stay because that's what our hair does. If not, you can keep going around it just to make sure that you have your ends smooth on there. And as you can see, the rubber band is right in that groove. It's not, you know, randomly on the rod. 
I'm connecting it my finger is under it and then I'm going to just make sure that that rubber band is laying on there so there it is This is my problem section, so I'm actually going to do a two-strand twist on this side. It may come out with a different curl pattern, but who cares? It'll be covered up. But yeah, so my, I don't know if, I keep saying it every video, but just for people who don't know, like, my sides are like a completely different texture than my entire head, and it gives me so many problems. So many problems. Thank you.